Here is a three-part AWS network security video tutorials. Here in our first part, we will do security group configuration demonstrations. We will do some testing and verification on our web and database applications. And on the second part, we will compare security groups with NACL, also known as Network Access Control List. And the third part is more of network architecture which resources and components we use in our network security configuration. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Dean Armada and I'm the Internet Action Star. I'm here now in our AWS console home. And before we configure security parameters such as NACL and security groups, let's first test our web application. So I open another browser. Now this is Mozilla Firefox and uh, this is already pointing to our website, to our URL. So I'm going to hit refresh. And uh, as you can see this URL, which is listening on HTTPS and starting with web dash ELB domain is not responding. Okay. As you can see, it takes um, a lot of time uh, thinking. Okay, or uh, receiving traffic and starting to process it, but we haven't received any data from the web application. So this is uh, not available. I mean the web application because we haven't really configured our security groups. So what I'm going to do next is I will go back to our console home and uh, I'm going to click EC2. Okay, there you go. And uh, I will configure security groups. So if I go to the left pane under network security, there is an option here, security groups. And how many security groups we have? We have, uh, well, two defaults plus the customs are web server security group and database server security group. What we want to configure first is the web server security group. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to edit the inbound rules. Take note, we have two rules here, the inbound rules and the outbound rules. And by default, there's no security group rules found, okay, on both rules, inbound and outbound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit inbound rules. And from here, I can add rules. And uh, since this is a publicly available web application, we will just allow HTTPS, okay. HTTPS and by default, it will listen to 443 TCP. And how about the source? Take note, uh, there is no deny option. It's always allowed because it's a security group. How about destination? There's none as well because this is inbound. What we are configuring is the source. Okay. And uh, from the source uh, pull down menu here, we have custom. Anywhere IP version 4 and anywhere IP version 6. Since this is available publicly, it's either we select anywhere IP version 4, okay, or I'll just go to this field and then select the CIDR block quadruple 0 slash 0. It's the same, okay. Now I'm going to click save rules there, okay. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test again, our URL. Okay. So let's go back to the Mozilla web browser and I'm going to hit refresh. As you can see, it's now responded, but there is a warning here that the Firefox detected a potential security threat and did not continue. Well, it's because, um, it's receiving an error certificate. Okay. Um, we haven't really configured a CA. That's why we're getting this response. So we'll just have to continue. And as you can see, we are getting an Apache default test page. Okay. The default, uh, homepage of, um, a simple Apache web server. Okay. So our security groups that we added or we configured the inbound rules is working properly. Now, what I'm going to do next is I will copy and paste another URL. This is a WordPress URL. So I'm going to open a new tab and then I'm going to copy paste. It's almost the same URL if you compare it. 
the difference is there is slash blog. So meaning our web application will be connecting to a database server, okay? And that database server will pull data and information to our um, blog page, which is WordPress based. Now, um, let's just wait. This may take a few more seconds or maybe even uh, close to a minute. So what I'm going to do is I will go back to our EC2 configuration. Hold on. Okay, so this is our EC2 configuration. We are specifically to security groups. And we, what we did is we allowed inbound rules. This is very basic. We just allowed traffic coming from the internet, which is the public network, and um, um, send requests to TCP 443. Now, since our web server requires connectivity to the database server, what we need to add is another rule, but this one is outbound rule. Now, this outbound rule is coming from the web server security group to the database server security group. And uh, the database is listening on MySQL, or this is the service that it is um, running, MySQL, and it is listening on, excuse me, listening on port TCP3306, okay? And uh, since this is an outbound rule, we need to specify the destination. Okay, if I click this, pull um, the select box, again, it's anywhere IP version 4, IP version 6, and my IP. But since we want to allow traffic from a specific security group, all we need to do is click this field and select that destination security group. Okay, so this is web server security group allowing TCP3306 traffic to the database server security group. Okay. And I'm going to click save rules. There you go. So we just allowed the outbound from web server to the database server. Next, we will edit the security group of data, excuse me, database server. And uh, we need to allow inbound rules. Okay. Take note, we need to allow inbound rules. Why? Because as you can see, um, there's no security groups and by default, everything is denied. Okay, this is incoming. Since this is a database server and we know the web server needs to connect to this local server, we need to allow which port? It's TCP3306 or the service running in our database server, which is MySQL. Okay, and uh, the source needs to be web server security group. So I'm going to click save rules. And before I click save rules, let's verify first our Mozilla Firefox. As you can see, it says gateway timeout. Okay. Meaning the front end, the web application is working, but unable to connect to the um, upstream server, which is in this case, the database. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will just save the security group configuration of our database server security group. Okay. Again, we allowed inbound TCP3306 from the security group, web server security group. Now let's go back to our Mozilla Firefox and I'm going to hit refresh now. And there you go. Okay. It is now working properly. We can see our web press blog page, but what we have what do we have here well it is a welcome page but we are required to add uh, this information so let's add first site title okay and uh, the username i'm going to add username and then the password uh password there we go and then my email address now the email address we are we are provided with an example email address now let's install webpress And as you can see, it says it's successful. WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Now, what I'm going to do next is I will just simply test our account, WP admin and the password. Let's see if we can log in. Okay. If I log in, it should be successful. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab 
and then point it to the original URL, which is WebLB, um, yada yada, Amazon AWS.com slash blog page. And as you can see, this is expected. Okay, we have now a WordPress uh, page. It says, mind blown, a blog about philosophy. Hello world. Okay, and uh, we can access our WordPress admin configuration. So that is security group configuration. Pretty straightforward, huh? The next part will be about NACL or network access control list. This is actually more network configuration as we need to go to VPC or virtual private cloud level. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah.